Grand Virgin's family knew only a few details about his accident. A white car, a hit and run, a teenager airlifted from a bloody scene, nearly dead. They rushed to the hospital to find out if he was still alive. It was a tough scene when we got there. The doctor had a really, really bad look on his face. That look was a reflection of Grant's injuries. They were staggering. He had a torn aorta, multiple brain bleeds, a broken wrist, a broken elbow. Both his femurs were fractured. His ER doctor told Grant's family to let him go. The fact that this doctor wasn't fighting for his life just blew my mind. He's not dead yet. Why would you just, as a parent, how could you ever let go, not knowing that you hadn't done every single possible thing that you could for your son? Doing every single possible thing was going to take Grant's family on a wild journey, full of twists and turns and some unconventional therapies. Two weeks after his accident, after several operations, Grant was in a coma. His heart was okay, his brain was not. The doctor told me, she goes, okay, now we wait. Surely there's something we could do. She goes, nope, nothing we can do. We just wait. You know, the brain's got its own time schedule. In what would become a theme, impatient, Grant's family swept aside that doctor's advice. First, they tried progesterone. That's a hormone that, according to early studies, may reduce inflammation in the brain. Soon afterward, his family says Grant began to speak. He'd say, let's go. He'd say, I want to go home. But he really just brief little, like, yes, no type of, of things, not big, long explanations of anything. Then Grant's mother got an email with a link to this story. He never would have come out of a coma uh, if it hadn't been for the use of omega-3s. The CNN story was about high-dose omega-3s found in fish oil and how it may have played a healing role in cases of traumatic brain injury. During a traumatic brain injury, the brain swells and nerve cells stop communicating and die. Omega-3 fatty acids, the theory goes, can do three very important things. Rebuild damaged nerve cells, reduce inflammation, keep those brain cells from dying. An analogy from one expert, a metaphorical fire being put out in the brain. When we look at severe brain trauma, we're looking at an inflammatory event. And obviously the one thing you want to do to basically treat brain trauma is to put out the fire, to put out the fire in the brain. The first time this had ever been done, 2006, after a mining explosion. Twelve miners died. Only one, Randy McCloy, survived, but his brain was badly damaged. His team of doctors, including Barry Sears, figured this. About 30 percent of the brain is composed of omega-3 fatty acids. Giving McCloy a large dose of fish oil, which is rich in those fatty acids, might restore function. Dr. Julian Bales was McCloy's neurosurgeon. So the concept was then trying to rebuild his brain with what it was made from when he was an embryo in his mother's womb. Rebuild his brain? Yes. So we gave him a very high unprecedented dose uh, to make sure we saturated and got high levels in the brain. Yeah, I'd just like to thank everybody for their thoughts and prayers. After the fish oil, McCloy made a dramatic, full recovery. The science is not clear. There have been no large studies and it didn't always seem to work. But despite that, Grand Virgin's family, a combination of desperate and determined, decided to give it a try. I don't want to wait 20 years while they do a bunch more studies to prove that it really works. I don't need, I don't need that. Grant was given 20 grams of fish oil per day through his feeding tube, even more than Randy McCloy got. In December of 2012, nine weeks after his accident, and only two days after starting high-dose fish oil therapy, Grant Virgin made a phone call. And I wake up the next morning and I went, did Grant call me and did we have a whole conversation? I just remember going, did I, I must have dreamed that. That couldn't have possibly happened. But it did happen. It was unbelievable. And a couple days into giving him the fish oil, he now is now talking in sentences. In time, Grant became more animated. And soon, he was walking. 
Yeah, we'll do it starting with January. January, February, March. Here is Grant, a year after nearly dying, a year after his family was told to let him go. He is doing everything. Doctor said he wouldn't. Got straight up. Why do some people never recover? And some go on to look like this. We don't know for sure. But his parents believe something as simple as fish oil is a big reason why. It's amazing. I mean, okay, what if it didn't do anything? It certainly couldn't hurt. But what if you have this kind of result? Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting.